Hello folks, Dan for Shizzle here. Right. The reason I'm doing this video this late is it has just become time to put to first time rewick my Igo F. Um the wick I done what a week ago was going strong. It was it was a good good wick. But it's time to time to do something different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the device a bit show you how I've got my wick set up might as well um, I'm just show you the device All right now I'm using a new camera so bear with me but that is what we're going to look at today the UD I go F auto exposure auto focus don't want any of that I go F. Alright. This I received free of charge from Safer 6. Um, just as a tester. Um, very grateful he chose me as a tester actually, because it's the device that I really, really wanted to try. Alright, let's get down and I'll show you some some close-ups. Wait me one second. Right, this is what we're going to look at today. This is the UD Igo F. Right, this camera's autofocus does suck, I apologise. Right, that's what we're looking at. When you get it, it comes in three parts. You have, you have your top cap, which is there. It's it, uh, something that I'm growing used to with the UD products is it is branded. Um, now I don't see it as tackily branded, it's just branded. I mean it's not bad though. Still it still looks decent. Um, I believe it's a one mm hole, but I could be wrong because I haven't actually measured it. Yeah, I believe one mil. Alright, measure top cap. This is the sort of business end of your atomizer. This is the, the sort of middle. Um, two posts. No holes in the posts, which was something that I was sort of upset about because this all screwed down. I find it easier to rewick a device that has holes in the posts myself, but I suppose. Right, let's see if that's going to focus. Alright, you have. Two wick holes, two screws, little Dell re insulator. It's a dual O ring setup with an O ring also around the base threads to stop leaking. And also, you are going to get your base, which is 510 connection with the 1mm tank. Now, a one mil tank dripping atomizer was something that I thought was something dreams are made of, but we'll go into that a bit later. Something I feel that doesn't really need to be there is another one of those little grub screws, just like in the AGI. I have, I mean, I don't know if you can see it in the minute, uh, in, in there in a minute, but there is a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of juice, and it does, it, and it can leak. So, although although it's got the upgraded threads where it sort of tapers in it does leak a little right so what we're going to do is I need to re-wick this I'm using cotton and um, right so what I need is a screwdriver bear with me that one there. Yep, it should fit. Right. That is 
good enough for me. Um, it's just a, it's only a dripping setup. It doesn't need to be immaculate. Right. There's it. There is there. Um, all you really need to make sure of, I found, with the same with any dripping atomizer, is that no coils are touching, and they all touch the wick, like that one there. There you go. As long as you have coil touching wick, you will be fine, my son. So they say. Right. Now, with this tank, because I'm using 3 mil cotton, um, I've had to sort of maneuver it and everything else just to get it to go down. So, we'll try that on camera. Right. Well, basically, all I do, let's try and get this to focus again. Right, twist the end, and then you're going to need to shove it through. Right, you see, this is the fiddly part. Getting the wick into the tank is an absolute arse, unless you're using one or two mil silica, then you get away with it. Right, so I want to get that in there. Right, see, it's not going. So, what I did last time I whipped it, which actually did work a treat, was I snipped like like a like a dart. Just snip some wick off, just so you can slow it down into the tank, and it gives you it gives you a point. I don't know if you can see the point. Let's see if I get it to focus. It gives you a point to stick down in the tank. And I found that helped me a lot. Right. This setup is easier with silica, but I drip with cotton because I prefer the taste that I get from cotton. Right, now, as you, if you can see up in there, I have the tiniest, tiniest little bit of wick poking through. So, what you don't have to do is you sort of have to grab hold of it with something. Now, I'm using a screwdriver, but you could use a pair of tweezers or something along those lines. Basically, you just need to grab something just to get hold of it. Sorry, I'm being this off the camera. There goes the mouse. Right. It's an absolute pig. But is doable right I'm gonna get the wick in this hole and I will see you in a second Right, now, you didn't want to watch me dicking around for 20 minutes doing that, surely. So, right, we have our wick through. Once the camera focuses, there you go. We have the wick through. Now, what I've seen on the UD video, how to properly wick the IGO F, is you're supposed to do this. Now, if you see what I'm doing, I'm poking the wick into the sort into like the recess into like where the wick into like the threading. Now apparently that is the proper way to wick the Igo F. So you have all of your wick in there. If you see that, it's left me a little bow on the top which I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fiddle with and squeeze about and to get it in that's what she said but that is my basic build so now I'm going to be vaping some monkeyjiz 
So, what I have started to do, because that rough screw, I'm not going to be using that for filling up. I mean, tipping the whole device upside down to fill that up just seems a ridiculous thing to do to me. I'm going to be filling up this well, which is apparently one milliliter. One milliliter. I'm going to screw this on. You're going to get a few drips come out because you're, you're, you're basically you're creating like a vacuum. Right, and if all has gone well, you should see your juice. Right, let me just wipe this down a little so you can actually see. You should see your juice rising up the wick. Right, how the flip am I going to get this to focus? Right, you can't see it on mine, but juice is starting to flood up the wick. That to me means successful build on the iGo F. Now, what I normally do just to help with the wick in respect and just to get you going that little bit quicker is I also drip on the top. Not many, maybe three or four drops. Just to get that wick nice and wet. And then you're good to go. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put this on the T-Max check ohms. I reckon it's about 1.4 and there we go vaping smoking perfect right top cap on right I had coil touching the side of the top chamber right that is one thing I'm disliking about the IGO F and that is the fact that that top chamber is so small um, I was using my last piece of ribbon there um, to get a decent ribbon coil is a very hard thing to do in the IGO F but not impossible and when done properly excellent um, as I said, I've got a bit of monkeys in there let's see how it vapes as you can see plenty plenty of vapor production um, because this chamber is so small I'm getting I'm getting more intense flavors than I would out of my AGI now for me that's not necessarily a good thing but it's not necessarily a bad thing either as you see once set up properly um, right little tip for when you're doing when you're getting the one when you're getting the well, I say one when you're getting any size mill down into that tank tweezers at the ready because as soon as you get the little tiniest bit of wick poking through you want to grab that like you've never grabbed anything before and pull it straight through otherwise you're gonna lose it I've got to stop looking at myself on the screen I've got to look at you um, one thing disappoints me is I can't use my own drip tip because it's all built in that's gonna focus sorry I'm still getting to grips with the new camera so right um, but for the last week week and a half I have been using this constantly as my dripper it's it's sort of pushed the AGI into second place and that's because once you do get it going It is absolutely brilliant. Fiddly to set up. Fiddly to set up. Um, but once you're there, it is. It it. It's like a Nirvana. You know you're there, and you know you've hit it. For me, it's a really, really, really good atomizer. I urge you to go and get one now if you can. 
Um, it does look really good on the T-Max, but not many people own a T-Max, so we won't go into that. Not yet, anyway. Um, it looks good on the T-Max. Oh, one thing to mention, do not over drip, because you will leak out the little air hole. I have done it many times. I'm an over dripper, I apologise. But flavour excellent out of this atomizer. Vape excellent out of this atomizer. It has its niggles, but for me, if you overcome the niggles with fiddling, I'm a tinkerer anyway. I like to tinker. So it's not bother for me. But if you're not one who doesn't like fiddling, don't get one. If you don't mind fiddling, go and buy one because it is a stonking, stonking little dripper. Dripper? Dripper. <laughs> right, I've been Dan for Chisel and I'll see you in the next one.